Hey, what is going on everybody? In this video, what I'd like to do is something a little bit different on this channel, and that's working with the Arduino. So in this video, what I'd like to do is set up the software needed to program the Arduino, get our board connected to that software, and then upload our first program so we can blink the onboard LED on the Arduino board. So that's the program that I have running in the background. This should be super easy to do, so let's get started. All right, so to get started, the first thing we're gonna have to do is install the software. I already have it installed on my computer, so I just have a virtual machine opened up, but the first thing we're gonna have to do is open up Google, and then we're gonna type in Arduino download, and then I'm just gonna click this first link that popped up here, Check the description down below for the link to this web page so you don't have to go off and find it. But once this loads up, all we're going to do is scroll down to this big blue box over here. And then since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click this first button right here. But if you're on Linux, you're going to click one of these four buttons, depending on which system you have. And then if you're on Mac, you only got one option. So you're going to click this button here. So since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click the topmost link. And then I'm going to click just download. And then it should begin downloading an executable file. So then once it finishes up, all you have to do is run the executable file. And then this message should pop up. Just click yes. And then we're going to scroll down, you know, make sure you read all the license and agreements. Click I agree. And then we're going to click next and then install. So we're going to click close. And then after all that, you should have the Arduino software installed on your computer. All right, so now that you have the software installed on your computer, open it up and you should have a file that has both the void setup and the void loop functions. Now in the off chance that you don't have those there, come over to the file button in the top left hand corner, come all the way down to examples, and then we're going to go over to basics and you're looking for bare minimum. If you click that, you should have these two functions placed in the file for you. Once you have this file up, what we need to do is actually connect the Arduino board to the Arduino IDE. So you're going to have to take the USB cable that came with your Arduino board and plug it into your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then once you plug that in, you should see a green light on the Arduino board. The next thing we're going to have to do is let the Arduino IDE know what port the Arduino board is connected to. To do this, all we have to do is come up to this top toolbar, click the tools button, come all the way down to port, and then click the port that you have connected to the Arduino board. Now, if you are using like a Chinese knockoff, half the time it won't be labeled as Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano, whatever you happen to buy. So what I usually do is unplug it. So if I unplug this, remember we had COM1 and 3 in there. So I go over back to port, you'll see COM3 is missing. And then if I come back and replug it back in, COM3 should be there. And that's how you know that that's the correct port that the Arduino is connected to. So make sure you click that and there's a check mark next to it. So then once you have the correct port set up, the next thing we have to do is tell the Arduino ID what board we're going to be writing to. To do that, we're going to go one up above the port section. So it should be labeled board. And then we're going to go over to the Arduino AVR boards. And then all you have to do is select whatever Arduino you happen to have bought. So in my case, I bought the Arduino Uno, so I have this one selected. Now, chances are you have the Arduino Uno, but you might have the Nano or Mega. So just go through here, figure out what board you bought, and then click it, and there should be a little black bullet point next to it. And then after that, to make sure that you have everything all set up, let's upload these two functions to the Arduino board by clicking the upload button. It's this circle with the arrow in it. If you click this, we can come down to the little text view down here and it should say done uploading and there shouldn't be any errors in here. If you see something like this, you should be good to go to continue on with this video. If not, you likely selected the wrong COM port or you have the incorrect board selected. All right, now it's time for the fun part. We actually get to write some code to blink the onboard LED. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is explain the void setup and the void loop functions. But taking a look at this, it looks like these comments already stole my glory. This function right here, the void setup is gonna run once when you first apply power to your Arduino board. The void loop function is gonna run repeatedly or for as long as the Arduino board has power. So I'm gonna come outside of both of these functions here and I'm gonna define an integer value. I'm gonna call it LED pin. And then I'm gonna set this to a value of 13 and end the statement with a semicolon. So why am I doing this? Well, there's actually a few things you have to know about the built-in LED. It's tied into pin 13. So what we have to do is mess around with pin 13 to turn that LED on and off. 
So once we have the pin defined, what we have to do is actually set up this pin as either an input or an output. To do this, we can use the method called pin mode. And then within this function, we have to pass in the pin that we wanna set the mode to. So in our case, it's the LED pin. And then we have to pass in whether or not it's gonna be defined as an input or an output. So in our case, we want it to be an output. So I'm gonna type in output in all caps and it should turn blue. And don't forget to end the statement with a semicolon. So this is gonna set pin 13 as an output pin. And then once we have the pin mode set up for pin 13, we're gonna write some code to actually change the state of that pin, whether or not it's gonna be high or low, on or off. To do that, it's also really simple. We're gonna use another built-in function called digital write. And this function's gonna take in the pin we wanna change. So in our case, it's the LED pin. And then whether or not we want it to be high or low. So in our case, we want it to be high or the LED to be on. And if we type in high, that should turn blue, just like the output here. And then I'm gonna copy this line here, paste it just below it, and I'm gonna change the high to a low. Now, looking at this, this seems like it would change our LED from on to off. But if you think about it, the Arduino is gonna be turning this LED on and off super fast. So to slow this down a little bit, we're gonna use another function called the delay function. So we're gonna type in delay, and this is gonna take in the milliseconds that we want to pause our program. So if we wanted a one second pause, we just type in 1000, and don't forget to place that semicolon at the end of this statement. And then I'm gonna copy this line here, paste it past our digital right low, and then this should be everything that we need to blink the onboard LED on and off in one second intervals. All right, so now that we have this program written, what I'd like to do is just a super broad overview of what's happening, because I think it can be a little confusing the first time you see it. So the first thing we do in this program is set up the LED pin variable. What this is doing is just storing the pin that we're gonna work with throughout our entire program. Then we're gonna come into our void setup. This is where we're gonna set up all the pins in our program. In our case, we're only working with one pin, pin 13 and we're gonna set this to an output. Now, what the output is doing is allowing us to modify the voltage state at pin 13. Then after the program sets up everything, we're gonna run into the void loop function, and then we're going to apply five volts to pin 13, turning that LED on. Then we're gonna pause the program for one second. The LED should still be on here. And then after that one second is up, we're gonna turn the LED off by applying zero volts to pin 13. And then again, waiting a second and repeating that cycle over and over again. So once you have all this code written, let's click the upload button. And if you take a look at the Arduino, this LED should start flashing a bunch of times. And then if you take a look at the onboard LED, it should be blinking in one second intervals. Now I encourage you guys to play around with this a little bit, maybe changing this to like 250 and 250 and seeing what that does. So if we upload this program here, you should see the LED starts blinking a little bit faster. All right, so what I want you guys to do on your own is mess around with these delay functions here and keep changing them and let me know down in the comments how low you can go with these delay functions before the built-in LED looks like it's just constantly on. So if I change this to 200 and I upload this, let's take a look and see if the LED looks like it's constantly on. And if we take a look, it still looks like it's flashing. So mess around with these two numbers here and let me know down in the comments what number makes it look like the LED's just on. So if you are wondering where I got all this stuff from, take a look down in the description below. I'll link to everything I used in this video. As always, if you guys have any questions about anything that happened in this video, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.